If you would like to have a full book classes, I would like you to continue watching this video. Once again, this is Tichinka, and if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified of my previous and future videos. So, as I was saying below the description box, I'm going to share my tips personally based on my experience on how to get or to increase your booking rate. And this is about your booking rate in the company Agatsoc. And for other companies also, you can actually use this because this is a general tip and not just for academic sub teachers, but for also other companies, maybe like Native Gown, you could also use it there. So if you would like to have a full book classes, I would like you to continue watching this video. Okay, let's begin with our first tip. Tip number one is to make your tutor profile attractive as much as possible. Sorry, as much as possible, make it attractive to your students. First reason is that they check it. Of course, everyone does. So, if you're going to purchase an item, you're going to check the description about that item. Same with when you're selling yourself to your students, you must make your tutor profile attractive as much as possible what is tutor profile so tutor profile is where you um, see the let's say the teachers videos and the teachers self introduction and we also have in Akadzok teachers pictures behind the classroom situation so what are the other things the hobbies the teachers does behind te or beside teaching so you are going to present as funny or as attractive as possible. You can show a purse or your photo, like for example mine, though it's not that attractive. I have a photo of me reading a book. I also do some poses. Like they just catch these little kids' attention. And also you could have or in Twitter profile you must have a good video. As much as possible it's or the video should contain all of the things that are about you basically so all the things that you think is good to say to attract the buyer the student because they're the one who will buy your skills right so for example with my video with my introduction of course I shared a part that I'm an English major and my experience like that and what are my hobbies you could share that too and why do you think that it is important for them to learn English and so on so you could share as many as you can about yourself and as many as you can to share regarding your experiences too if you're new it's okay just share about your hobbies your personalities and how willing you are to teach to that specific student and then the next one is your audio same with the video tell more about yourself how good you are as a teacher and make yourself beautiful attractive as if that you're the best teacher in the world like that and though you are not the best i know we are not 100% sure that we could handle every expectation of the student though you must sell yourself so much the first thing you must do is to believe yourself then after the video and the audio let's go to the tutors um, let's say introduction so this is where like for example mine this is where you will share about your personal informations in written form so you can share about your hobbies your background within terms to if you're a college graduate right that but if you are not a college graduate don't mention it just mention your major at 
it's already good. And if you're a high school student or just a fresh graduate, it's okay. You can share about your previous major, what were your hobbies, and related experience to teaching or related experience in talking or having a conversation in English with a different nationality. If you are an OFW or if you are, um, let's say, if you happen to travel a lot in foreign countries like America, United Kingdom, you could share those. And then also after those introduction, the second tip that you must remember is that you must take all the trainings that you could see in your tutor train tra tutor training yeah so you must take all those and you must finish all those as much as possible as many as trainings or lesson materials that you have taken and the lot of bookings you will get because the students will check if you already know how to teach this specific lesson that they wanted to so you must learn also to take the trainings as always trainings are very important same with native camp same also with native camp trainings are also important they call it badges so you need to take that also so as we continue to native arkansas rather so next after the trainings let's say you're done already with the trainings a part of the training is also the tassel the your tm directly will message you that you need to finish your tassel in this specific date so you need to do that because they will open your slots after you have opened or you have finished your tassel exam and then after that let's have the third tip open as many as slots as possible actually since this is your first few days it's okay to open as many as you can okay open as many as you can Remember that you're selling yourself, so you're not 100% sure that you will have a specific class at just a few hours that you will open. So, if you are new to the company, open as many as possible. Like what I did before. Mm, I opened 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. Like that. So, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. because I still have some other things to do during at night. I also have private classes with my other students. Like, they are not in Akansok, okay? Just to clarify, I don't take private classes from my Akansok students because that's part of their rules. Though you can, you can, but it is not actually acceptable by the company. So as for me, I only take private classes from my Japanese students that I know that I really really know so I have them as private classes at night so as for me I'm also a student so morning is the only available time for me and during that time I still have my summer classes so I take 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. that time and that is how long I open my slots but actually you can open 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. and that time is not actually fully book the moment you open it it, is, it won't be fully book already like the first day that's very impossible though there are some teachers who says that they have achieved that amazing well if they did that may be because of their profile their background so that's how important it is for the tip one so you need to consider tip one two and three and as i said when you open the slots open it as much as possible a lot a lot a lot because let's say you will have for a day you will have two or three classes don't be sad because those two to three classes or two or three classes that you have or one class you must make it as interesting as possible it will also affect you because it's also important that you have a positive feedback from the student that you first had because that could be your possible regular student okay so every class counts next tip number four is that you must prepare yourself okay you must be prepared in what way so if you already taken all the trainings you must remember those and apply it in class for example, TPR, Design Language, 
the here and see actions and the right circle actions and the smile those are very important you must show that you are prepared in classes so that the student will see that oh i love this teacher and at the same time if you have kids props like this gifts are very really important for them or rewards because this will show that wow I've, i received reward from teacher i want to receive more so of course they're going to book another class for you or from you so that's also how important it is to be a prepared teacher so the moment you open your slot you must be already aware and prepare of what should you do and what should you not do next prepare your class to be fun your book class must be fun as i said previously that it will affect the feedback of your student to you and some of my students based on my regular other students they said that they read every feedback a teacher gets from their previous students so if you would like to have a lot of students be fun and be smart if that's an app be fun and smart and be an attractive energetic teacher if you feel like oh i look stupid i look funny well that's part of it that's part of it because you want your student to enjoy right so if they enjoy they will give you positive feedback after the positive feedback other students will see it you will have five star rating like five star literally and then after that five star rating you will have oh great teacher very smart teacher and i will post here some of the comments or example feedback that i received from my students these are the feedbacks that i received and that could be received also by you if you do a good job to your student Okay. And th that will be all. Actually, there is only five tips, though those five tips are very important to apply in every class you have. First is make sure your tr tutor profile is attractive. Okay, tutor profile, your videos, etc. As I mentioned. Second, take all the trainings, take TASL and other trainings available as much as possible. Third, open as many slots as possible. Let's open as many slots possible for you okay that you think you can handle well that won't be fully booked immediately like 10 hours will be 10 hour classes no just be prepared at least there will be one two or three students but those two or three students are very important and the fourth one prepare yourself be ready your background ready you as a teacher ready Fifth is make your class fun and attractive. Remember the feedbacks. So those are the five tips from Teaching Inca. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for the next video, just comment below. I'll make sure or I will try my best to have a video to be posted in future. Thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Goodbye. Thank you.